You're backstage at Download with Beat. We're ready to meet and greet some metal meat. What a treat. How you doing, folks? You're watching Beat on Bebo. We are the answer, and may the luck of the Irish be with you all. Rock and roll. Uh, this is the answer. Gents, what's the question? I told you it had to kill you, mate. It says no limit. It says no limit. This is Enter Shikari. Did you come up with your name because you were thinking of variables maybe like Enter Shira? Enter came after, didn't it? We had Shikari first and then we needed to change it up. Yeah, there was a band called Shikari from Holland or something. You're, you're, being, you're being passed sweets by a, a, friend, a friendly older gent. He's trying to keep us going. We haven't seen something to so, uh, back us up a bit. Do, 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 do mature gentlemen often come up and hand you sweets? <laughs> they do, they do. All the time. I don't, I don't know why we get in their cars. They wait for us outside the playground. <laughs> We're at download, as you can see. I'm here with you, me and six. Two of you are suffering pretty badly with AV, but Dan and Josh. Yeah. How are you feeling, Dan? Pretty terrible, actually. <laughs> Oh, well, I uh, struggled through the day. So, didn't have all that drink last night. Oh, drink, mate. It's the hay fever. I'm here with the legendary Paul Cookie Cook, the drummer from the Sex Pistols. If, if, if there was a tip you could give for endurance, what would it be? Um, I don't know, split up early, <laughs> have a bit of a break from each other, band members, and then you grow fond of them again, and then you get back together again. How do you feel about John advertising butter? It's quite funny actually. Yeah, I saw the people saying, oh, it's really unexpected, but I think it's totally the thing I was expecting to do, really. I'm here with Luke and Ben from Thunder, veterans of rock and roll. And there's a bit of, bit of tragic news for the viewers uh, because you're just about to commence your farewell tour. We are, yes. It's time we've got to let faster. The old bones are creaking a little. And I'm going off to watch cricket and drink tea. I love you more than rock and roll. Who do you love more than rock and roll, Ben? Myself. We're just here waiting for the mighty Motley crew to come Slayer! on stage. <laughs> Slayer? They ain't playing, mate. Hey, this is Nikki Six from Motley Crew, and you're watching Beat on Bebo. Yeah. What I want to know is how come three of you are in here and Tommy's got his own dressing room next door? What's all that about? We want room with him. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't shower. He doesn't show up. No. He's a, he's a, so we've established who the least hygienic is in Motley Crue. Yeah, he is. If, if you could get a one minute alone with Nicky Six, what would you ask him? I uh, probably wouldn't ask anything because I'd die of a heart attack first. Me and Mick are like an old married couple. Yeah? Yeah. Did we you, all, we you, argue a lot too. Yeah. yeah. About, about city we about anything. Things. We'll just sit here and argue. We'll like argue about that coffee cup. What was the last, what was the last stupid argument you had with Nicky about? Um, on the way here, my bus had a flat tire. <laughs> so and he's he mad because I'm he, pointing. He opens up the door of the van and starts getting in my face about it. <laughs> and, you know, just because, you know, I went to the bus. And, hey, it's my and van. He, I didn't say you van. could ride in my <laughs> van. You have a big a tour minute. bus and it broke <laughs> down. And you know what? It ain't my problem. Wait a minute. You fing <laughs> old. <laughs> oh man, that's the cut. That's, that's, that's the that, pot color. I love that. Well, this has got a bit of a Monsters of Rock feel this year. It's you know, awesome. this down yeah, the li the lineup is is killer. Like, I was so blown away when I saw it. I was, it was amazing. It's cool. You look at the set list and you go, I want to see that. Yeah. Or I want to see that. I've never seen Limp Bizkit. I just went and saw. I just went and saw a couple of songs. Yeah. Well, I, th I think it's quite interesting. The, the new lineup. It's quite quite exciting for us to be on a day like today because it's not where we'd normally be. Normally we'd be on a day like tomorrow. But I think that's half the fun of doing these festivals. If you were a death metal band, what would you be called, Charlie? Um, I don't know, probably uh, rotting mucus. Rotting? Ro ro rocking mucus on a Thursday. <laughs> Vomit in my mouth is quite a good name for a death metal band, I think. Vomit in my mouth, I yeah, like that. That's working for me. We actually, when we're really bored, we actually sit and make up indie or emo band names. <laughs> Give us an emo band name. An emo band name would be something like... Um, uh, Nobody loves me. Okay, you, uh, you left me at the crossroads like Val Kilmer in Willow. Give us a death metal band name. A death metal... Um, Sanctify. <laughs> yeah. I think that's one as well. Yeah. <laughs> Probably is. Uh, uh, cr uh, cr crucified by... By life. This poor young indie boy has had enough rock for one weekend. Over and out, beat peeps. Have a good time tonight.